Hello everybody, thank you for joining my talk on building autonomous mobile robots with Aeon Boxer Solutions powered by NVIDIA Jetson modules. I'm Daniele Clary, Senior Software Architect at Aeon Technology. I'm specializing in embedded systems and Linux for embedded with a particular focus on IoT, AI and of course robotics. I joined the company in 2018 and worked since then with my colleagues to bring innovative solutions to our customers and providing them software consultancy to minimize their project risks and challenges. Aeon is an OEM and ODM hardware manufacturer specialized in embedded and industrial computing platforms. It was founded in 1992 in Taipei and since then it grew over the years to become a global player with a revenue of over 200 million US dollars in 2020 and a worldwide presence with over 700 employees. Aeon Technology Europe, which is where I'm based, has been established in 2005 and since then it grew to 44 employees to sell and support our products to the European market. Since 2011, Aeon Technology became a member of the ASUS Group as an associate company, enabling the company to further strengthen its leadership, access advanced technology and leverage resources from within the group. Aeon brings to the market a diversified embedded products and solution portfolio with high quality standards to meet world-class design and manufacturing needs. Aeon Technology is also an NVIDIA preferred partner. And now, to start with the presentation and break the ice, I want to show you a video that can easily summarize how complex and challenging is the journey to develop and bring a robot to market. I cannot assure you that no robots were armed in the making of this short video, but since then, 2015, thanks to continuous technological advancement in multiple fields, from batteries to motors, sensors, including the availability of more powerful embedded systems like the NVIDIA Jetson TX1 system and module, and of course software, there have been giant leaps in robotics development. Well, not like that. Still, the complexity is there, and we all know and maybe hate the saying, but hardware is hard, and it takes time and maturity to arrive to the iteration we have in design, development and production of hardware products like we do with smartphones. Robotic projects are amongst the ones with higher failure rate in the IT industry. As also remarked by many industry experts, it's not an empirical statistic, but it's really difficult to measure as many of these projects fail even before reaching the prototyping phase. Of course, there are many experienced companies that develop robots for many years, and some for decades, if we think of assembly robots. But looking at the new applications where robotics is getting into, there are many articles describing robotics company lost along the way, papers analyzing the reasons behind these failures, and discussions where industry experts describe these challenges. In particular, in a roundtable on TechCrunch in 2019, the NVIDIA's Vice President of Engineering, Claire Deloney, said, I think it's just very hard to solve robotic problems today, which makes it still very expensive and very hard to get even to a minimum viable product in the development cycle of the company. In order to do that, we need to use the right combination of hardware components, software architecture, and proper integration. But it is also crucial to have a seamless life cycle from prototyping to production. In this life cycle diagram, I wanted to highlight two important phases, prototyping and deployment, between which most product fails, not only in robotics. After the requirement phase, the team or teams working in the project start to evaluate different hardware components and platforms, assessing the availability of the features and performance they need. Looking into the software already available, the one to be integrated and the one to be developed from scratch, the overall architecture is put together and the prototype is completed after multiple iterations of this phase. The project life cycle continues and the team works to bring the prototype to production with the continuous and iterative development and testing phases. And we get to the deployment, where if it could seem straightforward as the robot would come with everything pre-installed and thoroughly tested, there might be unexpected challenges due to user experience gaps and no matter how smart is the robot, corner case is not considered. There is always at least one. 
it's critical that development and testing teams have a way to manage that phase for the software, even remotely if possible, and maintain the robot through small updates or full redeployment if necessary. The cycle continues with feedback, lesson learned, and improvements fed into the requirement phase of the next iteration or version of the product. Starting from the core of the hardware, NVIDIA provides a variety of system on modules which combine powerful and scalable CPU and GPU with AI capabilities, local storage, and a wide variety of I.O. With the requirements at hand, it is easy to select the most suitable platform from the entry-level Jetson Nano, the recently released Jetson TX2 NX, and the Jetson Xavier NX, all using the same 260-pin edge connector. It is also worth mentioning the Jetson Xavier AGX, which provides the highest performance, but it uses a different mechanical connector. In our case, we will consider solution based on the currently available modules with 260-pin connector, the Jetson Nano quad-core ARM CPU with 128-core Maxwell GPU, 4GB of RAM, and 16GB eMMC, and the Jetson Xavier NX 6-core ARM CPU with 384 core Volta GPU, which integrates 48 tensor cores for AI processing, 8 gigabyte of RAM, and 16 gigabyte eMMC. Aeon has developed multiple products based on NVIDIA systems on modules, in particular the Boxer 8221 and the 8251, sharing the same cardboard and form factor, allowing the customer to choose and eventually scale from the Jetson Nano to the Jetson Xavier NX. These complete systems integrates the NVIDIA system on module, the carrier board with USB micro port for programming and debugging, four USB 3.1 Type-A, one HDMI 2.0, one gigabit Ethernet, an optional Wi-Fi and Bluetooth via M.2 E-key slot, two serial ports with the URTTL, RS-232 and RS-45 signals, the systems are powered by a 12 volt DC input Phoenix connector. We also offer system customization services to further specialize our products for the specific use case of the customers. Aeon offers multiple and proven operating system options for products based on NVIDIA Jetson modules. Starting from Ubuntu, our operating system image is based and compatible with NVIDIA Ubuntu 1804 sample root file system but it includes our customization to fully enable our platform, including a customized kernel. The Jetpack 4.4 and more recently in your products, the Jetpack 4.5 is included in our latest images. We also provide as a service the possibility to manage and control the units with our Aeon Hero software solution. Alternatively, for the highlighted platform, we also offer support for the Yocto project an open source project that provides tools and processes to create and customize embedded Linux distributions. The Yocto BSP layer provided include the necessary configuration to build a minimal text base or a GUI based images compatible with our hardware. The meta layer is based on the community supported project Open Embedded for Tebra and it supports Mender IO device management solution. As just mentioned, our Ubuntu image is based on the official NVIDIA BSP for Jetson modules, Linux for Tegra. The BSP includes all the necessary components for us to extend the already comprehensive support provided by NVIDIA and properly support our platforms. It includes the NVIDIA patched Linux kernel with bootloaders, drivers, and other specific libraries, power management system, graphics, and multimedia support with libtrm, OpenGL, Vulkan Video for Linux version 2 and GStreamer plugins, configuration files, tools for flashing, and Ubuntu 18.04 based sample root file system, and of course the Jetpack DeepStream and Asset software development kits. You can find more information on the online and video documentation. Looking into the software development kits in Linux for Tegra and in particular Jetpack, we can find the availability of developer tools, libraries and software components based on CUDA to address the various needs of a complex system, which comes of a great importance in the development of a robot. Just to provide a quick high-level overview, we have TensorRT 
and QDNN to facilitate development of deep learning applications, multimedia API, both for camera and GPU accelerated video and code and the code. Libraries for GPU accelerated fast Fourier transform and basic linear algebra programs, computer vision software like VisionWorks, OpenCV, and vision programming interface library and drivers for sensor support. On top, we have DeepStream SDK for Intelligence Edge Video Analytics and, of course, Isaac SDK for Robotics. Alongside Ubuntu, as I mentioned, we offer also Yocto BSP for our Boxer 8221 and 8251 products, available on GitHub. It has been developed by our partner Cohen Software and it is based on the community-supported Open Embedded for Tegra. The release includes support for Yocto 3.1, LTS, Dunfell, and provides multiple images and configuration that can be fully customized by the customer, depending on their system requirements. Open Embedded for Tegra is a community BSP derived from the official Linux for Tegra and meant to enable Yocto support for NVIDIA Jetson-based platforms. Started by Matt Madison in 2015, it is available under the Open Embedded for Terra organization on GitHub. It includes the basic for booting the board, kernel, bootloaders, drivers, machine configuration file, image configuration files and metadata files, code recipes for board specific tools and examples. Open Embedded for Tegra now supports Yocto Project Release 3.2, but the main focus is still on Yocto 3.1 long-term support downfall, where the configuration has been updated to support the latest Linux for Tegra release R32.5.1 and Jetpack release 4.5.1. The basic distributions available are MetaTegra and MetaTegra Mender with OTA update support. The distribution provide multiple images from a minimal one with no graphic support to a full image with OpenCV, Multimedia API and NVIDIA Docker, which is ideal to integrate Jetpack SDK components as it includes all the necessary dependencies. Yes, also Jetpack SDK is supported, but it requires additional steps to download it via NVIDIA SDK Manager and import into the Yocto build system, but it is all well documented. Unfortunately, not all the components are currently supported on Yocto, but it is improving over time, and right now only NVIDIA Insight is missing from Jetpack SDK. Together with the hardware at Aeon, we offer software customization for already enabled platforms like the Boxer 8221AI and 8251AI, but we also develop Linux port support packages for ODM products designed around the customer requirements. For customers who already have developed their application and need to port it to our platform based on NVIDIA Jetson modules, we provide integration services on both Ubuntu and Yocto based systems. To complete the picture, we offer support services for customer projects, managing system updates and security updates, device management and OTA updates. Before moving into the robotic-specific components, I want to highlight the availability of container support. Containers have come to the spotlight in recent years, with continuous optimization and improvements, replacing virtual machines in some cases or enabling new ones, like in embedded systems. While adding a minimal overhead compared to a virtual machine, they help to compartmentalize applications running on the same system and even if they require different libraries or versions. Thanks to the release of NVIDIA Docker Runtime, the NVIDIA Jetson platforms can run containerized applications for different types of workloads and fully leverage the GPU and AI acceleration available. NVIDIA provides also Jetson-specific containers that you can download from NGC NVIDIA GPU Cloud catalog with pre-configured containers including Jetson SDK, Deepstream SDK, and Isaac SDK and many samples applications. And now into the software for robotics, the most well known is the open source framework ROS. ROS started in 2007 at Stanford University and now used in many commercial platforms, has matured into ROS2. 
with most components ported and updated to the new version of the framework and now also one of the main problems of ROS, the lack of support for real-time system has been addressed in the most updated release. ROS contains many open source implementations of common robotics functionality and algorithms organized into packages that we can group into the following categories system and tools, mapping and localization, navigation, perception, coordinate frame representation, and simulation. The current release of ROS2 is called Foxy Fitzroy, is going to be supported till 2023. While there are new minor releases every six months, the next long term support release will be available from 2022. ROS is also used by many developers using NVIDIA JSON platforms, thanks to dedicated packages, tutorials, and setup scripts available from the community. And thanks to the availability of container support, it is also possible to run different versions of ROS and ROS2 on NVIDIA JETSON modules. NVIDIA has released, other than multiple machine learning containers on NGC, also various Docker files and build scripts for ROS and ROS2 on GitHub. These scripts and configurations provide an automated and reliable way to install ROS or ROS2 on JETSON based systems so you can focus on building your ROS-based application without the complexity of setting up the system with its dependencies. With the availability of Isaac SDK, specifically optimized for NVIDIA platforms, developers have multiple choices for developing the robots, while having reliable and validated frameworks that can speed up their development. Isaac SDK comes with a collection of high-performance algorithms also called GEMS, to accelerate development of challenging robotics applications. For example, Isaac provides planning and perception GEMS for navigation and manipulation use cases. GEMS also provides support for key hardware components and robotic peripherals. As for the advantage, NVIDIA released the Isaac ROS bridge to help in integration of already developed robots using ROS and ROS2 with the Isaac SDK. You can now add features implemented as Isaac Gems directly into ROS implementation, simplifying the process of enhancing your robot capabilities. And now, how can we leverage all these components to make our development lifecycle seamless? How can we reduce the risk and challenges of a complex robotic application? Our ecosystem partner Cognitin has been developing a new cloud-based platform that integrates all these components and greatly simplifies the process of autonomous mobile robots development, testing, deployment and maintenance. The platform, called Nimbus, is available at this time as a closed beta service for selected customers. The key elements of the platform are about simplified configuration, AI integration and fleet management with robot analytics. Nimbus simplifies the robot application development with the self-configuring drag-and-drop robot definition interface. It integrates AI and robot learning capabilities within its mission management and control application. It leverages analytics data from the robot fleet to improve the robot behavior and performance over time. Having a look at the convenient user interface provided by Nimbus platform, you can see how easy it is to build and simulate your robot. For example, your NVIDIA JETSON Xavier NX can be placed in the virtual environment and the robot pipeline can be created connecting pre-made but configurable components via drag and drop interface. ROSTF and launch files are configured from 3D models of the robot and sensor placements. The robot components and even local ROS workspace can be defined as containers to create a fully modular and easy to upgrade platform. This pipeline's configuration can be deployed to connect platforms seamlessly. After the pipeline is deployed and while it's executing, the streams of information can be monitored, logged and processed. In this interface example, we can see the vision and AI inferencing applications integrated in the robot pipeline using the pre-configured ROS packages. The output can be visualized as direct stream from the robot itself.
the deployed robots, including entire fleets, can be continuously monitored. Topic and streams can be configured and limited to transmit information from the various sensors available on the robot to a specific rate, verifying the status of each component. The robot logs can be saved and later accessed from one place and easily used to identify issue or improvements to be done. All the collected data can be visualized using different types of graphs, diagrams, maps, and other forms of visualization. In this video of the Nimbus platform, we are going to see the actual flow. We have included the device Jackson Xavier NX system and a Z2 camera. We are now going to add a component for the camera and selecting the specific pre-configured module. Then we are going to add a local deep learning component with the segmentation module. We track the main output of the camera to the image for input stream of the AI module. We can now click deploy so the configuration is automatically saved and pushed to the robot. We now see the robot coming up and selecting the teleoperation we receive live streaming of the camera with the AI pipeline just deployed being executed on the device. We can also select different options from the output to visualize other sensor data. And we conclude the journey with a video showcasing how from a prototype built with Aeon Boxer 8251AI based on NVIDIA Jackson Xavier NX, using multiple open source technology easily managed with Nimbus platform, we can seamlessly deploy an outdoor autonomous mobile robot. And to help, since the prototyping phase, Aeon, in collaboration with Cognitive, will provide a pre-configured robot development kit, which includes an Aeon Boxer 8251AI, powered by NVIDIA Jetson Xavier NX, a Stereolabs Z2 camera, the Cognitive robot module with servos and DC motors with encoders, a low-level motor control board, the various mechanical parts, including pre-assembled chassis with wheels and suspension and of course, access to Nimbus platform. Register your interest at solution.aon.com slash robotics. Thank you for attending our presentation. You can contact us for any inquiries about our products via our website, aon.com. But also, in case you may have questions specific to this presentation and the topics discussed, you can reach me directly via email or telephone. Here there are some useful references from the presentation. Before closing, I would like you to suggest to join other sessions and GTC that may be relevant for you. For example, how to use NVIDIA Jetson products against the COVID-19 pandemic with session number SS33128 and Trusted Edge Computing Platform for the AIoT industry high security, easy to use, reliable execution and optimized performance with session number SS33130. Thank you.